Well, hello, this is Rochelle. Welcome to my channel. Grab a cup of coffee and let's talk Faber Castell Pit Artist pens. Um, I've got my collection here and I've got some plain white cardstock. It actually might be two pages. Plain white cardstock and then I have my workbook um, with the Bible pages in and I'm going to show you how they react um, on both gesso and plain paper. I do also want to show you um, some of the different things you can do with it. Um, okay, so let's start. Firstly, let me tell you that Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens are an India ink. So they are permanent once they dry. Um, they do not bleed through bubble pages. Uh, unless obviously you're going to scribble over and over and over again. They might fray the paper and actually uh, that would bleed through into the fibers of the paper. Um, I use a standard set of four... Um, black ones to journal with and the nibs look uh, like this let me just see if I can focus here this is the brush pen and then they have various size nibs an S and an M and an F the smallest one is the S So this is the one I mostly journal with. The next one is the F. It's a bit thicker. And then the medium sized, which is the chunky one. <laughs> so it's the chunky one without it being a uh, marker tip. The 1.5 is the marker tip. So this does not have that soft, bendable brush um, tip that the bee has. Okay, uh, I should jump in here and say this is my layman's review. Um, I'm by no means an artist in the sense of being able to tell you all the fine art qualities of this pen. <laughs> I'm going to speak from my own experience. Um... So I really, really love these. Let's get going with preparing this page. I use the Dino Wakely Clear Gesso. And I apply it using a card method. And I'm just going to put a little bit on um, on here. I just want to show you what it does on both surfaces. So I'm really just semi-preparing here. <laughs> Nothing major. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry naturally and then I'm going to show you on the unprepared surfaces so long. So you get some metallic colors, they come in the 1.5 nib. Um, so I haven't found the metallic colors in a brush tip just yet, they come in the 1.5 tip. Um, and then you get sets uh, of six, you get sets of four. Um, and then, yeah, I haven't seen the very big sets in South Africa. I know that you can buy them loose at certain art stores. I have seen them at Archneers in uh, Hatfield and Gymnets in Linwood 
Grove. Um, okay, so let's choose a color here. And I'm going to show you that the brush tip allows you to do some lettering. Shall we letter my name? Okay, something like that. So it is soft enough that it can push down significantly on the downstrokes. Um, so that's with the lettering. Um, let's try some on the gesso side, shall we? It is dry. So there is a difference in color slightly with regards to vibrancy here. Um, I feel that it's more vibrant. You will see that it does smudge while it's still wet. Well, this is actually because my gesso is not completely dry. So it'll make the, the ink pigment sit on that gesso a little bit longer. So you need to wait just a little while before you um, uh, smear or wipe with your hand while you're writing. On there for continuity shall we shall we continue using the purple on the Bible page um, it is still a bit damp I'd say let's get back to that one let's try some of the other methods quickly or well, we can actually do the this side right um, And you'll see that there's some shadowing, but there is definitely no bleed through. Um, that is on an unprepared pre surface. I'm not going to try that just yet. Um, then I want to show you quickly that you can do some stamping with this. I have done a video using this um, technique. Make sure that it's nice and... <laughs> filthy <laughs> it works better if it's dirty don't know why it just does okay i am stamping on that coil binding now there you go let it sit for a little bit and then lift it up there on the prepared side i find that it gives a smoother impression On the Bible page, unprepared, it gives that same impression. Shall we try? Yeah, let's try. Uh, this technique works better with solid stamps. So yes, you'll see that on the unprepared surface, the stamping is very much in line with your brush strokes. Whereas on the prepared gesso side, it definitely blends better. Um, becomes more like an ink um, in in that sense. Let me do the name here. Oh, that feels just so silky smooth. And then, as you can see, even less shadowing there than with... Um, the unprepared page but both sides do not bleed through the bible paper okay let us try a darker color um again very much line based on the brush strokes this one just smooths out 
much better. This beautiful grey colour comes in the hand lettering set. There is a complete hand lettering set and if you check my post on Instagram, you'll see what that set looks like in retail. Oh, that's beautiful actually. And on the prepared surface, it just blends a bit better, definitely. My acrylic block is filthy. Sometimes I just find that these things stick better with dirt. <laughs> okay, so now I want to show you quickly a technique I learned from Andri, which um, she has painted lemons on all social media platforms. And she actually has a quick tutorial video on... Um, um, how to how to do this but I would like to include it in here so let's grab a green this is a, a small nib um, there you go so it's for writing and like I said this does not bleed through so not the black neither of them bleeds through which obviously, well, I don't know about you, but for me, that's a huge deal. Let me, let me show you a comparison. Um, there is the... Trying to find my Multimark. Oh. So there's a Multimark, which is uh, an, a Faber-Castell product, but it's not the Pit Artist pen. Um, and so I'm going to show you how this bleeds through. So you can immediately see, and I only did a quick scrape. It doesn't bleed through on the gesso, but it definitely does on this. Um, and if I write even more so. You see what I'm saying? So on the gesso, not so much. This is good for writing on top of gelatos in mixed media. The Multimark. But we're talking about fabric style pit artist pens. So let's get back to that. And I'm just going to do a quick little flower type thing and so you'll scribble some on a non-porous surface I've used my craft mat before and I've used my palette before you take your um, aqua brush or your normal brush and you will activate that pigment with the water um, and you will do your little flower and you'll see that it moves very much like watercolor. Um, the thing about this though is that once it's dry, it does not move. Not on the gesso side and not on that side. Okay, so it's wet now, but it's not moving. Scribble some on your non-porous surface. Pick it up with your aqua brush. It's perfectly straight <laughs> stem of mine. Uh, doesn't exactly meet standards. <laughs> And there you go. Same on the gesso side. Again, I do want to say that on the gesso side, you do need to give it a bit more time to dry. Um, as the gesso creates a barrier between your page and the ink. And so it has to sit there to... Um, to... How can I put this? To dry for a little while before you can um, rub over it but it's not very long it's not very long at all okay so there's your water painting No bleed through. So 
but let me know what you think. Um, this is the Faber-Castell Aqua Brush. Uh, these brushes, also by Faber-Castell, come in a set of four. I love them. Um, they have a very soft grip, which makes things very easy for me. <laughs> and uh, that is that. Let me know if you have any more questions with regards to these products, uh, the Pit Artist pens. They do come in a big brush marker. Okay, let me show you. <laughs> let me give you a sneak peek because I'm sure that they're going to bring it in. That uh, Faber-Castell South Africa is going to bring these in. This I brought from or got from uh, an order overseas. And there's, I think it's 15 colors. And these are beautiful. I love them. They make stamping easier. Um, and they give the big bold letters when you brush later um, so there you see those and that's a big sneak peek I'm looking forward to these coming to South Africa because I want a white <laughs> it's an opaque white so it makes beautiful white art marks um, I do want to show you quickly 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 before I leave you that you can in fact obviously write over this um, I know that with the gelato sometimes one battles to write over it but this one has no problem writing over it no problem and still no bleed through so with the big brush pen bleed through but it, I pressed very hard and it's on an unprepared surface for the dark color um, so yeah I have, in fact, used these in my Bible, in my Bible with no bleed through. Let me just get the page. I can show you quickly. I think it's on this one. So it has shadowing, heavy shadowing, but no bleed through. I've used different colors shadowing but no bleed through and these are on unprepared pages mm, sort of wants to start bleeding through right but yeah if this is on a prepared page don't think you should have any issues so those are the big brush markers and the pit pens hope you found this helpful uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel to get future updates Thank you so much for watching.